I'm here at HPE Discover with Paul Miller, and earlier this June, you guys made a couple announcements around OneView and OneSphere. Can right. you talk about what those were? Yeah, so just a little ground setting on OneView and OneSphere. So OneView is our software-defined infrastructure platform that enables customers to automate deployments, lifecycle management, etc. And on June 4th, we announced we did a million licenses, so customers are really adopting this really fast. In about four years, a million licenses. So that's pretty strong. And we're continuing to you know, improve the product with rolling updates of clusters so you can upgrade a cluster without having to take it down, and new uh, templates from everything from uh, automating your Azure uh, automation logs to deeper integration with vCloud Foundation to new partners across the board on, one, on OneView. OneSphere is our product for managing across multiple clouds. We launched this in Madrid in December with support for AWS and, uh, and then on, on the public and then on-premise. Uh, we just supported VMware. Now we're supporting Kubernetes clusters on-premise, Kubernetes with, with object stores, and then in the public cloud, adding Azure. So now customers have more choice. You know, this is delivered as a service, so you'll see us continue to add public clouds and private clouds over the next uh, couple of months here. So really exciting, you know, extending both of these. And then, I, I know this isn't directly your area, but how does that fit in with um, the GreenLake announcement that's also happened? Because I assume they're, they seem tightly integrated. So, perfect, yeah, so the engine of GreenLake Hybrid Cloud, which is just announced this week here, is OneSphere. So what you'll see is continually HP using and building around really two software platforms for the enterprise, OneView and OneSphere for everything, and then in the edge side, the Aruba uh, uh, mobile platform there. So yeah, so they're using this, so it'll be the primary dashboard that customers engage with with uh, hybrid cloud. So with one million users on the, on the OneView side, what kind of feedback are you getting from people that they want to see next out of OneView? Okay, so, you know, what they really want to see us do next is continually building out the ecosystem with the APIs and building more around that, helping them really drive. Uh, integration, which will be coming with things like InfoSight, you know, is, is a big one. They want the analytics and the machine learning, so obviously InfoSight is, is our big push there. And then, um, you know, just more lifecycle management automation through, you know, uh, N plus X day through retirement. And I'm assuming it's possible we could see more public cloud integration at some point in the future on the OneSphere side? Absolutely, watch the space. You know, we've, uh, we've talked about, you know, Google as well as the Cloud 28, so watch the space for when that gets lit up in the, in the cloud since it's delivered as a service. All right, thanks, Paul.